Jimmy Carter was still president and the Iranian hostage crisis was about to begin when the young victim's body was found in this townhouse in the back bay in 1979. Now, a few years later, a man went on trial and was found not guilty for that murder. Now, another man has come forward saying he's the real killer. At 24 years old, Susan Marsha Rose was living in Boston after moving from her small hometown in Pennsylvania for a new life, she told her family. Then, one night in October 1979, she'd stayed out late at a pub. She left there and went to meet up with a friend to get a Halloween costume that she was going to wear for the next day. Also that night, Rose met up with a man who investigators say lured her into this vacant Back Bay townhouse. They were walking up the stairs of the building when the defendant, Mr. Ermer, picked up a hammer and beat her in the head with it, knocking her to the ground. Now 68 years old, John Ermer from Portland, Oregon, said nothing about Rose's murder until he recently walked into an FBI office and said he wanted to confess to several murders, including that of Rose. He walked in to the police, confessed, uh, allegedly. He waived rendition, came here without a fight um, to face these charges here today. Ermer is also accused of raping Rose. Investigators say they took DNA from him, and it matches DNA found at the Back Bay crime scene. Prosecutors say Ermer previously spent time in prison for another murder in California. During Mr. Ermer's confession to this murder, he also confessed to killing someone in a different state down south. Authorities are looking into that case. A woman who knew Susan Rose back in 1979 tells me she was working at the time at a Boston office supply company and that since she was from out of state, it was her co-workers from that company who had to go to the morgue and identify her body. Live in the Back Bay, David Beenick, WCVB, News Center 5.